Well, I didn't get to play with Charlie after all the, today. The 57 Chevy truck that I made a video of earlier today. Thought I was going to get to play with it a little bit, but something come up. And so I parked it in the garage where Big Red was at. And uh, what happened was my mother-in-law, a uh, little Hyundai car, uh, she had a nail in the side of her sidewall tire. And had to go to Walmart. It just... Uh, she was smarter than me back in my younger days. I I would have <laughs> I would have pulled the nail out. I don't know why I've done stupid stuff like that. I'm still doing stupid stuff, but I would have pulled the nail out because I'm not the brightest bulb in the room. But that's back when I was younger. Anyway, so uh, she wound up having to buy two tires, and so uh, she told me I could have the tire, the other good tire she had which was a 14 inch and it's a Mastercraft 185-65-14 and uh, what has me bum fuzzled about the whole kit and caboodle was that uh, my wife is telling me something what had me bum fuzzled was uh, they would not put the best of her four tires they would not put the new tires on the front of the car. Her little car is a little old bitty car, Hyundai car, real small car, 14 inch tires. And uh, they said they put the, the best tires, the new ones, on the back. They refused to put them in the front. And I've never heard of that before. I always thought you put your very best tires on the front, especially on a front wheel drive. And you've got steering as well. So, I mean, between the front wheel drive pulling the car and the steering too seem like you'd want your best tires in the front now maybe i'm maybe i don't know what i'm talking about i don't know but that's that doesn't seem right to me so anyway it was 90 plus degrees here and uh, my mother-in-law was at walmart and she's she's 90 years old so i went ahead and uh got big red out need to drive it anyway because it has air conditioning. So my wife and I went to Walmart in this and threw that tire in the back. And uh, anyway, old Big Red does just, done just fine. But uh, anyway, that just kind of has me buffaloed. I always, I've always, uh, let me start all over. I got tongue tied again. I always put my best tires on the front. I just don't understand why Walmart's policy is, is to put your best tires on the back. That just, I don't understand that. Maybe there's something I don't know, which is a lot of things, but that part I don't understand. Anyway, Walmart has some strange policies. For example, if I was wanting to get tires for this truck, you know, they're little in the front, big in the back, they wouldn't sell them to me. They wouldn't put them on. So I don't understand that either. I mean, if you come in rolling with a set of wheels and tires on a vehicle they will not sell you tires and and put them on i don't understand that either so and it, have you noticed seems like things always happen when everybody else is closed so you're kind of stuck with whatever walmart is doing so anyway fortunately my mother-in-law got to walmart just fine and uh Got got two new tires, which is good, but and I don't know. I'm I'm constantly, I mean, nearly every day. Not well, not every day. A couple of times a week, I'll see a nail or a screw or something in the road, and I'll I'll stop or turn around and go get it just because I don't want someone else to have a flat tire. You know, there's a lot of people like myself and you know older and younger that you know some people don't know how to change a tire. And uh, I'm I'm always trying to I'm always trying to do a good deed at least once a day at least one good deed a day. But uh, anyway, that just kind of has me buffaloed about the tires. Anyway, that that's the end of my rant. I just thought I'd talk a little bit about Walmart and tell you that Big Red done good and it's starting to get nightfall now and the skeeters are out so. I'm going to go in. I hope y'all had a great day today. It's, it's, as I told my wife, it's not how I had it planned, but there's a reason for everything, and 
I'm just so glad everything's turned out safe and everybody's home safe and sound and, and we good. Live to see another day. Y'all have a good one. Check in the next video. See you later.